station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Katherine Clayton. This week, robotic controllers and the crew work to install the new docking adapter to the space station. On Wednesday, Expedition 60 flight engineers Nick Haig and Andrew Morgan of NASA completed a spacewalk to install the International Docking Adapter 3, or IDA-3, to the space station. The previous night, robotic controllers on the ground used the Canada Arm 2 to extract the adapter from the trunk of the Dragon cargo craft and position it on top of the Harmony module. During the spacewalk, Nick and Andrew routed and installed cables to the new docking adapter. Sitting atop the pressurized mating adapter 3 on the space-facing side of the Harmony module, IDA-3 will allow two commercial crew vehicles to dock to the station at the same time. This was the third spacewalk for Haig and the first for Morgan. Even with the spacewalk, there's always time for science on the space station. Goodyear Tire is using the Space Station Laboratory and the microgravity environment to push the limits of silica fillers for tire applications. Nick Haig performed the investigation in the microgravity science glove box and used traditional synthesis techniques for silica fillers to create novel morphologies that aren't available on Earth. The data from this study will determine if there are improvements to silica fillers that could lead to new manufacturing technology on the ground. This could mean significant improvements in fuel efficiency that would not only save money, but also help protect the environment. The Russian Soyuz MS-14 launch adds even more excitement to a busy week. An unpiloted Russian Soyuz cruise ship launched Thursday from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. There was no crew on board as this launch was to test the newly upgraded 2.1A booster segment during ascent. The spacecraft will automatically dock early Saturday morning to the space station's Poisk module where it will stay until September. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA and we'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.